guys, it's Wednesday, and you know what? I thought today I'd mix it up a bit because you guys have been asking for some product reviews, so that's what I'm gonna do now. A few months ago, I had a message from a lovely company with lovely people called Skinny Tan. Now, I'd heard of Skinny Tan before and I'd followed them on Instagram and a little message and they were lovely enough as to send me a few bits. So, you've probably seen me rave about it before to be fair. So I'm going to show you the bits that they sent me and, oh no the lid's come off. And I'm going to let you know what I think. So, first things first. Let's go for the ones I haven't tried because I've only actually tried a few of the products. So, the first one is a seven day tanner. This gorgeous packaging, love it. It's really simple. All of it, all of the um, products come with the same packaging but just different colours, which I love. It's simple but really works. So, anyway, seven day tanner. So, with this one, I believe you just pop it on once. And it's the same with all of them, you pop it on and then you leave it at least five hours. So what I tend to do is I put it on and then I sleep. But once you put it on, after it, you'd wait like 15 minutes and it dries. So you can get into bed and it doesn't get all over your sheets and all of that rubbish. Plus it smells like coconut. It doesn't smell like all those nasty other tan products. It smells like coconut. So this one is a seven day tanner, so it lasts seven days, you can use it all over your body. And I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Second one, 24 hour bronzer. There's someone else. 24 hour bronzer. So this one, I assume you pop on before like a wedding or a party or something that you only want for 24 hours, for one day. So if you going out on a Saturday night, but you've got to go to work on Monday, dream, dream. Again, smells like coconut, it's fantastic. Next one is a gradual tanner. Now this one, usually with gradual tanners, you pop them on and then it just does whatever it does. Um, but with this one, it's the same as all the other products. So you pop it on, you leave it overnight, and then you wash it off. So this one, I know I lent because they kindly sent me a couple of bottles of each thing. So I lent one of these to my friends, which they said I could do. It was nice. Um, and I know one of my friends from work tried the gradual tanner on her legs, and she said it was absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna try and get some pictures, and if I do, I'll insert them here. If not, I'll insert a random picture. Next one I have is an ab shader for all those beautiful, beautiful abs. I think it's just the same as all the other one. I haven't actually used this one yet. I've got so many things to experiment with. Um, next thing. Now, these next two I have used on more than one occasion and I'm in love with. The first one is a pre-tan primer. Oh, the sun is so awkward. Pre-tan primer. Now, this is like a scrub and it's amazing. I've already used a bottle of this. So you just pop it on a, well, I use exfoliating gloves, um, which you can get from the body shop is where I get mine from. They're like two pound or something, like they cost nothing. Um, and you just pop them on while you're in the shower um, but what I tend to do, helpful tips from Rosie, is you dry scrub. So before you get in the shower, you scrub your elbows, your knees, your ankles, what else? The backs of your arms and the backs of your hands. Because those are the places where you tend to get obvious lines so that people can tell you've got fake tan on. So if you dry scrub those first, then you pop in the shower, full on scrub the whole body, jump out smooth as a baby's butt. I'm serious, I've tried. Let's 
me of as a baby's butt. So even if you don't want the tanning products, this, amazing. Um, I did lose this though. I use, I lose, I, la, 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 la. I lost this bottle for a little while. So when I did tan one time, I did use a coconut body scrub from the body shop. It was a cream one because they tend to be a lot better at actually like scrubbing the cream scrubs. So you can use that as well. And then this is the final product. The mousse. The skinny tan mousse. And this is the one tanning product I've used so far. I'm not very good so I have to get someone else to do it for me. And this is probably like the quickest and easiest way to do it. So the mousse, same as all the others, stick it on a tanning mitt all over the body, go to sleep. I still go on a towel but don't really need to, I don't know why I bother. Um, jump up in the morning, shower, it feels like it's all falling off but then you get out and you're like, I look fantastic. And I don't have any tan on at the moment and I feel white and horrible. So I really need to tan. But honestly guys, I am not lying. I've, I had never used fake tan until I got skinny tan. And I probably won't use anything else because a lot of things make you go orange and horrible, just icky, make you smell funny. This smells like coconut. It goes a nice bronze color. I think they're all just the same. I think they've got the like general ones and then they've got darker ones as well. Um, for if you're already tanned. Um, but this is just like the normal one and I pop it on and it just looks like I've been on holiday. But for me, everyone knows I never go that brown. But tell me how great I look. Which is nice. And all you've got to do is stick a bit of this on before you go to bed. And that's that. I use this on my whole body, including my face. Which means I don't have to wear makeup for a week. It's great. Really, really great. And I wouldn't lie to you guys, you know. I wouldn't lie. The only one thing I would say is that it only does last a week. I wish it would last a little bit longer. But... You can't have everything, can you? I smell like coconut. Look all bronzed and lovely. So, you just got to apply it every other week. And it slowly fades. But you look great while it's there. Honestly, it's so good, like, for weddings and weddings and parties. And if you just want to feel a bit more confident. Because to be honest, when I, because I'd never tanned before, when I put it on and then washed it off the next day, I was like, oh my God. And I got changed and I put like a, I think it was like a baby blue top on. And Ryan was like, oh my God. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, why have I never tanned before? And that's what it feels like. So if you guys feel a bit pale, and in the winter as well, if you feel a bit pale, if you feel a bit, mm, feel a bit glum, stick some of this on after you've applied this in the shower. And I promise you, you'll feel so much better. So thanks for watching today's Wednesday special. I will put all of Skinny Tans, um, I'll put their website down below, I will put their Twitter, their Facebook, their Instagram, so you can go give them a follow and if you wish, go buy some products and if you do, please let me know, comment down below um, how you get on with them and how much you love them. You know what, I did this the other day. I was going to say something and I completely forgot what it was. Anyway, 
let me know if you get on with them and if you agree with what I've said. Basically, that's what I'm getting at. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and share and comment and subscribe and I love you all. Mwah.